discovery into deep space. Exploration Commander John Wilhelm Allen is unwittingly to be our guide. We must not disturb him, for it is actually a voyage of rediscovery. We are to be stowaways on a return flight to a planet deep in Commander Allen's mind. is set, Commodore. Is the defendant ready? Yes, sir. You may activate the witness, Ensign. Yes, sir. Friday, October 16, 2116. Location, Newell Island Spaceport Exploration Command, Lunar Colony 4. Procedure, investigation and trial of Exploration Commander First Class, John Willem Allen. Incident, Apparent life termination of an undetermined number of intelligent life forms on the planet Nokus 261 C during primary exploration mission. The jury is instructed to probe and evaluate under Council Directive 6, Section 9. Commander Allen? Yes, sir. Before you address the jury, and as a matter of record, we have a few questions which you may answer consciously to the witness. Do you plead guilty or not guilty to the charge of involvement in the disappearance and possible death of the creatures on Anokis? I'm... I'm not sure. I must have a plea. Guilty. You are aware of the terms of Section 9? Yes, sir. Under no circumstances whatsoever shall a human being terminate the life of a newly discovered life form. If a hostile alien is encountered, or if there is any difficulty in such a mission, the human shall terminate his own life by whatever means possible, but usually by way of breaking the poison sack secured in his mouth. Should you have followed Section 9? I believe I did, sir, but as I told the committee, I can't remember anything about the mission, except vague feelings about encountering life forms. Prelotoxin has never failed in the lab or in the field. I know, sir, but when I arrived back at base, the sack was broken and I was alive. And according to our robot probe, the aliens had disappeared. Yes, sir. You are aware that both audio and visual recorders on your ship are blank? Yes, sir. Explanation? I don't know. Indicators read normal throughout the mission. And you still claim to remember nothing? Yes, sir. Yet you plead guilty. I... I have a feeling I believe I'm responsible. Very well. The witness may now process this verbal record and supply it to the jury. Commander Allen... Please step into the jury chamber. Yes, sir. The jury is now operating. By law, I am required to inform you as to its function. The jury is a Sony 46Z hypnoprocessor modified for specific tasks by Exploration Command. It will probe your mind in such a way as to provide us with an audio record of what happened during your mission. After accumulation of this data and determination of intention, it will deliver sentence. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We'll proceed. Anson, activate the jury to begin the probe and give us full gain on the speakers. I want to hear it all myself. Activated. It'll be a second till we focus in on the Narcus incident, sir. Of course. Signal drive, turn and check, and have determined the landing. Successful. We're secure and proceed oh, to the plan. I don't know what you mean. To tunnel base, proceeding to planned orbit. Don't we get it every time the prof turned around? I really do love her. Really like her face. Mm-hmm. Know what you mean. Strange sounds. That's Still you're surprisingly accommodating. Landing successfully. Tried to love you. And have determined the landing successful. We'll secure and proceed to contact. 
I expect they aren't too intelligent, given the robot probe's analysis and present biographics readings. Earl, I assume you're still assigned as my base contact for this leg of the trip, so hello and welcome. Let's hope we're both listening to the tapes of this when I get back. Ah, Biographics has a secondary. Incredible. Amazing. Looks like something approaching us in intelligence. Airlocks are ready. So I'm heading out. Contact one for Nakus two. 61C officially begins now. Lock has opened. Uh, feels weird not to be wearing my suit. But the probe was right. Atmosphere feels just like home. I'm outside the ship. Hmm, that scratchy ticking sound appears to be coming from... Oh... Oh, they're like... Like... Girl, it appears we have an abundance of... Some kind of bird. A lot of them in the air, but... They're not coming near the ship. Possibly a, a kilometer away. Why didn't the probe or the biographics pick them up? There must be hundreds of them. Still no sight of our primary objective, although the biographics says they're not far away. We'll proceed in the direction that... Oh, I can see them... I can see them, the life forms, the aliens. Readings indicate these are the ones we're looking for. About a hundred meters, and moving in this direction. Slowly, seems to be a sandy-colored kind of biped that... No, make that lighter with more red. Sort of a... What the hell, they're pinkish with green coming in a... God, they seem to be changing color. Earl, I hope you've got a video on this. It's like they're... Dissolving through the rainbow with... Now there are about... How many of them? About, uh... About, uh... What the hell's going on? The world is... may not make sense, but I can't count them. I... I mean, I know there's more than one of them, but they're... They, uh... Change. No, that's not right. They're not changing. It's just that... I can't count them. More than one, but... Six? Fifty? Thousands? Two? I've got no idea. Earl, there's a, a smell. It's awful. It's getting stronger. It's like, like sulfur, only worse. It's worse than the smell of it. It hurts. My whole head, the creatures are coming. Walking, I think. Closer. Smell worse. Painful. Creatures are... Oh. Oh, my God. They're... They're burning. Flames. Right. Hot. It's so very hot. Everything, everything's starting to burn. Pain. I, I can't... That sound. That sound. It's awful. It hurts. I've got... Uh, uh, it's so bright and loud. It hurts. Still here. Everything appears to be back to normal. The creatures are still. Oh my god! I can't see! I've lost all my vision! I'm blind! Oh, I. I couldn't bite the capsule. It felt like something terrible had taken hold of me deep inside, but now. The birds. There's something about the birds that I I don't understand. Something. Maybe I should know that. Can you hear that? I can feel the sounds as well as hear them, and taste them, and and see them. Or else something's wrong. Everything's get, getting confused. Section nine. Time to bite. Ha. Ah. Oh. 
music you heard. Heart rate increasing, wave patterns jumping all over the place. It's called the parrot, quickly. Coming around, sir. Oh, don't. Uh, not the air squeezing. Can you help us? It, it hurts. Pain. Please help us. Alan. Uh, uh, I don't understand. Commander Allen, the jury is deactivated. You are back at base. Uh, excuse me. I, I'm all right now. What happened, Commander? That's the first time I remembered what happened. Everything? No. Only up to when I took the bite. Except, except there's a bit more. What? I bit the capsule. I felt the poison enter my body and I stopped it from working. I let it go through without damage somehow. What do you mean? I know I should be dead, but I'm not. I somehow neutralized enough prilatoxin to kill ten people. That's preposterous. I know, but here I am. Something happened to me, Arnakis, and I'm not the same anymore. In what way? The more I remember, it seems like what happened to me was to... Not to somebody else exactly, but to me when I used to be somebody else. I changed. The world seems different to me now. But the medical report... Commodore, may we continue the probe? Very well. Aniston? All readings normal again, sir. Activate the jury. Inside. Wait. They're moving. The creatures are moving. Coming towards me. Thank you. 
If you could explain... What are you doing? Are you squeezing? Squeezing my head. Stop. Stop. It hurts. You're hurting. Don't. Please. I, I can't. I can't take it. Oh. Oh. I see. If I just let you, let you come in. Something like that. Thoughts together. Now I understand how you... God, I didn't realize. I had no idea. What are you doing now? You're making me remember. So why don't you try it? There's something about to head off in his first exploration mission. You're certainly traditional. Carla, you know I only like food. I recognize. So why are you still trying to First transport past moon base. It's a great time for all of us. I guess so. There's no real danger in piloting a transport. Statistics say that even if one thing. If you really wanted to, you know you can get out. I mean, they're not going to force somebody to go off their chains to the line. Sir, you're sorry. I get it. Carl, I begin briefing tomorrow, and in a week, I'll be gone on my first exploration mission. I might not survive. You've known about this for two years. John, I love you. And I love you. But unless we can both handle the risk my job entails, there's no point in this... joined together. Until you came, we did not believe it could be possible any other way. 
What did they do to you? So, so painful. So alone. Are you all right? Yes. Yes, sir. But when they they changed me back, I tried to join with them again. I almost did it. I felt their pain and despair at how alone we are. How we struggle to exist. Alone. They were extremely sad for us. So sad it was causing them harm. Do you remember everything now? Yes. The Nokians made me forget. Out of kindness, they were trying to protect me. They knew I was feeling their pain when they changed me back, so they made me forget. What do you think happened to them? They aren't harmed. They're there where they always were. But we can't... can't know of them. They didn't let me explain about about our need to know that we'll make great sacrifices to learn. We can change ourselves. It's fortunate that neither race suffered any permanent damage. Ensign, the jury's verdict. Not guilty, sir, with a recommendation that Commander Allen be promoted to field commander and transferred to the Buenos Aires Alien Research Center on Earth. Sir, I don't... Exploration, it's... It's all I want to do. And return to... to Nakus. After this mission, you would not be suitable for exploration. Your motivations are now uh, incorrect. You will report to Buenos Aires in 30 days. You are now on active leave. Something didn't get changed back on Narcus. I seem to have this, not an ability really, but a calmness I can get across to people. You better eat your breakfast while it's hot. Everything's so different now. John, I'm worried about you. Maybe the doctor's missed something. I'm all right, Carla. Really, I am. What are these? Don't ask till you're finished. Concentrate on the taste. Carla, I've got to go back to Narcus. I've got to see them again. John. I, I, I've got to go back. John, I... It's like getting a taste of something and wanting... needing more. But you said they wouldn't contact a human again. I think... We could get close, despite our differences. They seemed so sure from what you told me. When I first saw them, there was the fire, the smell, the screams. That was fear, Carla. My fear. I was afraid of, of them, of anyone coming into my mind. Without even realizing it, I was fighting them. And they showed me my own fear. They were trying to imitate me to get into contact. But instead, they imitated my, my horrors. You don't need to I have that. to go back and try again. Much of what was painful for them was my pain. Pain at not being able to let go. And at discovering how alone we really are. 
Excuse me, Commodore. I have a mission communique you might be interested in. Yes. For what mission? You remember the Narcos incident about a month ago? Commander Allen? Ah. Not likely to forget it. Well, Allen's on his way back to Narcos. Sent this just before dipping into hyperspace. Going back? Who authorized that? Admiral Stanislav. And classified it till the ship had left. That planet was quarantined. And Alan was taken out of exploration. Yes, sir. How could he convince an admiral to go off on a fool's mission to a dangerous planet? Don't really know, sir. Have to ask the admiral. But he must have had a pretty good story. Even got permission to take along his girlfriend. That's completely against regulations. Yes, sir. Uh, well... Let's hear what he has to say. Play it back. This is the last message from Narcus Mission 2. I am Carla Reed Smith, now in command. Commander Allen asked me to explain that the purpose of this mission is to make second contact with the Narcus life forms. He believes he is the only human capable of doing so at this time. However, in order to make himself ready for contact, he will be unable to speak to you. He has had his vocal cords and eardrums rendered ineffective, and he is now removing his eyes. He has convinced me that these radical steps are necessary. It has been said that Earth is the only true alien planet. If so, we are the aliens. Aliens to ourselves and to each other. John Wilhelm Allen is prepared to take leave of those meager senses which perceive a world of limited horizons. He is prepared to take the leap through that point of no return. The vanishing point. Cage of Light by Bill Gray. Boyd Norman was heard as Allen, Joseph Scala as Commodore Innes, Meredith Bain Woodward as the technician, Janet Wright as Carla Allen, and William Samples as the Nokian. The sound engineer was Jerry Stanley, with sound effects by J. Hyrene, and the production assistant was Dagmar Kafanka. Soundscapes were composed and performed by Barry Truax. The series script editor for Vanishing Point is Sandra Rabinovich. The original music theme is by John Roby. And the voice of introduction is David Calderisi. Cage of Light was produced and directed at CBC Vancouver by Don Kowalchuk. The executive producer of Vanishing Point is William Lane. Next week, we present an adaptation of a short story by one of the best-known authors of our time, The Playground by Ray Bradbury. Next week on Vanishing Point. Until then, I'm Art Cuthbert, wishing you good night.